Hi everyone. It's Friday. It's an exciting day. We've got a lot to talk about. So I'm live. If you're out there watching, please go ahead and tell me you're out there. Say hello. I'm going to hop over to the comments. That's where I can see where you are watching from. Say hello. We are here. Michelle's helping me again today. Thanks so much, Michelle. And we are looking at a whole lot of vintage inspiration today related to my Vintage Modern Makers DIY courses. So I see somebody's out there in Northern Minnesota. And I will tell you guys, um, we're streaming today from three platforms. You were on the Facebook, Amy Berrickman Studio Facebook page, the Amy Berrickman's Vintage Made Modern group. If you're a member of the group, you do have to give the platform StreamYard special access so I can see your name. So at certain times, I may not... Um, know your name, but I do. If you tell me where you're watching from, I know you're out there. Uh, and there's Cindy, and I know she's watching from Iowa City. Uh, hi, Cindy. Nancy's there from Austin. I love seeing my regular friends out there keeping me company on Friday while I'm, like I said, I have put together a lot of material to go through today that I think you guys are going to find really interesting and maybe learn a little and be inspired to create with your vintage treasures or upcycle with thrift shop finds. Uh, as you can see, I might be wearing something that I'm talking about today, uh, my bandana topper. So let's see who else is out there. I see... I hop on with my glasses here. There's Lana and she's a new member from Laguna Hills. Welcome, California. I love to see people from all over. There's somebody in Canada. Barbara's watching from Canada. So it looks like we've got a nice little crowd today. Thank you again, everybody who's hopped on the live. So you're on the live, which gives you some special benefits. And one of them is the opportunity for a giveaway. And the way we're going to do it today is a little different than the way I've done the giveaway in the past. I'm going to choose a winner from one of the platforms. And if you're on these platforms, this is the way to um, enter yourself. If you are watching from my Amy Berkman studio page, please, the I need shares to happen. So my hope is we're getting the word out on these DIY courses I'm going doing and the vintage inspiration. So if you have friends, if you're watching from the page and you have friends you think might enjoy my live events, maybe they'd be interested in sewing a project that I talk about, please just share this feed with your friends who may be interested in sewing, quilting, handmade, even people who just love history, that's a lot of what we talk about too. So if you can do me a favor and share this episode, I would so appreciate it. And that will get you entered to win. And what is the prize? Let me tell you that and then I'll explain how the other platforms can enter. The prize is your choice of one of my DIY courses. So you'll watch today and you'll see what the projects are, what the inspiration is, what the videos are about. And then you get, if you're the winner, you're going to, you're going to have one of your own. And um, so if you're in the group, we will look at comments and pick from a comment because you cannot share out of the group because it's a a more private community. And then on YouTube, we just comment, tell me what your favorite course is or which course would be your choice if you won the prize. And we're going to talk about four of them today, but mainly we're going to talk about feed sacks and the feed sack course. So if you saw the preview on one of my platforms, the social sites, even Instagram, I shared it over there, Amy Berrickman Studio on Instagram, you know we're going to talk about feed sacks. So first off, I'm going to give you a little preview of the feed sack course because that's 
the one that I have brought together a, a lot of different examples of content content for you to look at. And there's, let's say Dawn's out there. Good to see you, Dawn. And Melissa, taking one more look at the comments here. And there's my friend Ann Moody from Iowa, from Muscatine, Iowa. And we're going to talk about Pearl Buttons today, Ann, and the wonderful museum that's there in your hometown of Muscatine. Uh, so very exciting, you guys, to see you there. I appreciate it. First of all, feed sacks. Where did my love of feed sacks start? Well, when I published the Vintage Notions book, which many of you are probably aware of, this book has a month-by-month -month treasury of prod showing patterns, essays, home arts content. And on some of the pages in my book, you'll see fabric. Many of the pages have textiles and fabrics on, on them. And this is our September Department of Cooking. I'll try to show it up close a little there. And that has a feed sack featured on it. And this article is about preserving fruit. Preserved fruit, fruits give pleasure, which I love. In fact, they talk about those jars of preserves as gems. The color of those is gems. So um, I want to share with you that particular fabric that I just showed you on the page of the book. And then here it is. So this was the feed sack that we scanned to design on that page. I had some wonderful designers help me with my vintage notions book. Um, it, it, it's, I think you'll really love the art that you see on the pages. This is another one of the feed sacks that was featured, I believe, maybe in the August chapter. And I brought out a couple more just so everyone sees the variety of prints. Um, there were tens of thousands of feed sack prints that were created in the era of sewing with feed sacks. This is one that is purple as you see it here. But when you see this print in my book, we actually recolored it, I believe, for the um, December chapter. And I think we recolored it in red and green. So I just thought it would be fun for you guys to see where this all started. Everything from, you know, more of like this little, um, little Argyle type print, this is in the um, December chapter as well, to the party hats. I said today's party day, right? So this is that um, fabric that I shared with you if you saw the preview for the live. And it's party hats. I believe this is in the April chapter. So you can see how these fe this feed sack collection became part of my Vintage Notions book. And the more I learned about feed sacks, the more I was just fascinated by the story behind this fabric. And I'm going to show you now, I think it'd be fun for you to see a little bit about what the course that I just, we have for sale on feed sacks, what is included in that. And that'll give you at the same time uh, some history too. So I'm going to take you over to the platform. Um, show you some pictures of what the platform looks like or where you go from my website to get there. And the platform where the courses live is called vintagemodernmakers.com. And you will be able to, I'm going to show you some pictures now. Hi, everybody. There's Marcy. Good to see you from Ohio, Marcy. Glad you got on. And there's Barbara. Thanks, Barbara. She says she loves my book and I appreciate it. All right, let's look at some photos. So first off, when you go to the Amy Berrickman website, this you'll see about how, well, at the top navigation, you can see links to DIY courses and those will take you to the place you need to be. So you can see this graphic where it says DIY courses on the right. And what do they include? Uh, the courses include everything from um, field trips to museums to you can see the the topper I'm wearing there in the picture, uh, 
projects, upcycling your vintage textiles, and then also printables. And those printables uh, are really kind of a fun add-on that you get in addition to the sewing project. So I'm going to show you some of the projects and the printables from the FeedSack course now. So let's start out with the main project. And I have a little basket here full of goodies. And this is the sewing project. So we're going to start with this one of the sewing projects. And it is a little needle case that is folds, um, a fold and sew needle case, we call it. And it has a little pocket for maybe your scissors or a thimble. It has a place for your needles and it folds just up so nicely. I do have a picture of it open and a couple other fabric ways to share with you. So let's go look at that right now. And here is the example of it open so you guys get a better picture. And I see we have a good number of people on. I hope everybody will stay for the fun. And remember to comment to enter to win the opportunity to win one this DIY course that I'm sharing today or another course. So there you can see the needle case. And I do have another picture of them. There they are in a couple other fabric ways. So the, um, you can see that fun dress form fabric and that look cute little girl. That's a feed sack. These are both um, examples of feed sack fabrics from my collection. So when we put the primer together, of course, we call them, we call them primers too, because a primer was a term for a beginning um, educational book about a particular theme. So we cut that you will, they are called primer courses because they're a really nice introduction to learn the history and make some creative projects, learn sewing techniques. But the neat thing about the courses is they also, you also get PDF printables. And so I just showed you those pictures of those um, needle cases. Well, we love the fabric so much. I thought, well, that's what our printable will be. And those printables are called heirloom art is what I call them. So you can see here, here's the needle case made out of the feed sack. And then you also get the actual printable um, image that you could, number one, print on a fabric sheet and make an identical project or number two, print on paper and maybe do something really fun like this, where you add a card. This would be a great gift for one of your sewing friends, this needle case. And then you could make a custom card to go with it based on your access to these PDFs within the membership. So I think that's just makes for a really, really special opportunity to, and I'm going to show you a picture now of, there you have it, the dress form made the printable piece from the course that's part of your content, and then our idea for the way that you can create something to give a friend or um, even package these up, make a set for a friend as a gift. And you can see the graphic. It says, happiness is a full bobbin. Well, I think we can all relate to that, right? There it is. Happiness is a full bobbin. So again, you also get the graphic of the text in your PDF when you buy this FeedSack course. Um, and one more of the one more card to show you. This one is really cute. It uses another graphic. And um, Delcy designed these. She did a fabulous job. And there you can see. When I make with my hands, I give from the heart. And then we added a cute little heart button that's, I think, a Bakelite buttons, which that'll probably be a future course that we do um, is Bakelite buttons. We love buttons. In fact, we'll get to Mother of Pearl buttons here to talk about them a little. But another printable that you get in with your FeedSack course is this booklet. It's called A Bag of Tricks for Home Sewing. 
So this is a vintage piece that's in my collection that, again, we um, scanned and um, prepared for the opportunity for you to read it. You can also print it. Um, so the neat thing about these courses is this content is not only available for you to stream on your device, but you can also download the content. So if maybe you have a, a more challenging internet connection, you do have the ability to download on your device. So it makes it much easier um, to, to view at your leisure. So the feed sack, I think I've given you a nice little... Um, idea of the feed sack other than I have not shown you the main project in that primer, which we call Mary's Magic Square. I'm not sure if Mary is watching today. Maybe I'll jump over to the comments and see if I see her name. She's out of town right now, so she may not be, but there's Gloria Nixon watching. And Gloria Nixon is our textile expert, author, of wonderful two wonderful books rag darlings and feed sack secrets so be sure and they are on the sales page of this course so if you want to go check out those two books i highly recommend it so thanks to gloria for jumping on and watching too this is fun to see everybody out there so the the other pro sewing project in this course is what we call the Mary's Magic Square. And it is, this is, there is a clever technique for creating these. Um, I'm not gonna share too much more. I'm gonna give you some more combinations. Here you can see the a couple other ways that you can configure the design with feed sacks. Love these fall colors now that we're getting close to, well, it is fall, right? So that is the, magic square. And I think I do have one more picture that I can show you that shows that magic square and how you can use it. So you have a coaster, you have a hot pad. Think of stitching these together too. And um, lots of opportunities to create with this magic square once you learn how to the magic about making it and another thing that I do share in the courses is history and more treasures for my collection. So I did want to share feed sack aprons are a very popular theme that you'll see when you go to in thrift stores, antique shop, estate sales, wonderful examples of aprons. Now, this is a little a smaller apron, so I thought it would be easier to show here um, in the live. But I wanted you to see, again, the prints that are part of the feed sack legacy. This is a really fun one with transportation on it. Everything from um, the horse and carriage to the uh, biplane, the old car, the train. So definitely these courses are eye candy. Um, we have the inspirational albums in every course, and those albums are actually videos that I share um, my collection. I also share ideas for the other ways that you can use the sewing projects. So if you see the sewing project I have on, which is the bandana topper, this is in the bandana course. Uh, another one of the courses that's now available at vintagemodernmakers.com. Here you can see, many of you know, I talk about my mom, Donna. Incredibly talented, wonderful mom. She made, she had this tablecloth. This is literally a, a square tablecloth that she had it in her home. I don't think we ever used it for a tablecloth, but boy, it made a really, really nice bandana topper. So other ideas that we've come up with for this particular pattern that is part of the bandana primer course, think about using a lace tablecloth. Um, wouldn't it be gorgeous created in a topper like this for whether you're wearing it for casual or you want to do something dressy? I think there are so many vintage textiles out there that you may have in a drawer, in a closet. You may find them for 
a few dollars at the thrift store, and you know the value of that fabric. So I want to help you take those treasures and turn them into projects that you can use in your everyday life, or maybe you can gift them to friends. And when you do create with those textiles that have a connection to a family member, those gifts are the most meaningful, in my opinion. So that's my, my calling is to share and inspire you with those ideas. And we really do try to give you multiple ideas on how to use these projects. And that's, again, what those inspiration albums are about. So there's video content. There is um, interviews, like I mentioned, Gloria, the author of two wonderful feed sack books. Her interview was very enlightening and fascinating. So, and it, oh, I do have something related to Gloria in my pictures. Here you go. These are rag darlings. And she, you wonder why she called her book rag darlings. Well, one of the popular ways that feed sacks were produced were to be as these literally sew and stuff doll projects. And these are a couple that are in my collection, but I know uh, Gloria has some wonderful uh, bags in her collection because she featured them in her book, Feed Sack Darlings. So now I want to quick jump over to show you the a couple other, um, let me turn this off. One more cute feed sack image. Look how cute that um, that little graphic is that is on, that is part of the printable I showed you. That's one of the feed sack printables that comes in the primer course. And that was a darling apron. And I show the fabric apron in the course. So you'll see lots and lots. Oh, and this is another project or a piece that you get in the course. This is a page from the bag of tricks for home sewing that I showed you earlier. So there you can see more apron styles that might look familiar to you. Um, and one more feed sack. This little cutie, isn't he fun? Uh, he's a little doll that's in my collection that I'm sure is a feed sack um, character. All right. So let's see how we're doing on time. We've got about 10 more minutes. So why don't I take you over and, um, well, first of all, I'm going to look at comments quick to see if we have any questions. And I will tell you that there is a Q and A on the, um, pages. So every course has a sales page on vintagemodernmakers.com. And on those sales pages, we give you the details of everything that's included in the course. How many videos, how many minutes of video, what types of PDF printables do you receive? Um, and so you'll really get a lot of information. I also did a Q&A explaining access to the the videos, access to the PDFs. If some of you are new to technology, I want to assure you this is a very easy platform to use. Very easy. So, and we're here to help if you have any problems. Um, we have a guarantee you can read about it on the page and the Q and A's you can read. And I have to, I have Marcy giving us a nice compliment. Marcy said, I am a member of the Vintage Modern Makers Group and look forward every month to learning many new things about the history of vintage fabrics, etc. It's a wonderful program. Marcy, thank you so much for sharing that. I really, really appreciate it. And there's Emma. She's a little too late, but she will rewatch. Remember, you guys can watch the replays and you can share the replays with your friends. So if you have somebody you think might enjoy these courses, please, please share them and help me spread the word so I can keep creating on this journey um, of vintage textiles and notions. And I will tell you, I have some, I want to go quick over a couple things from some other courses. Um, well, and let me quick talk about the reading that you get with your course. So if you, in Vintage Notions, Mary Brooks Pickens' essays are some of the most popular articles in this book. And Mary founded the Women's Institute back in the 1920s, and they published these magazines called Inspiration. 
Um, here are a couple issues. I pulled the fall one just so you could see and be inspired by the beauty in that illustration. So Mary's essays, I have access to because I've collected literally hundreds of these publications in my vintage archive. And so each, um, each one of the primers has this kind of inspirational reading, uplifting articles. And many times we try to make those articles about the particular theme that we are talking about in the course. So you'll, you'll find, for instance, in the bandana course, there's a really fun article about scarves, beautiful hand-painted scarves. And it's, these are mainly 1920s articles, a hundred years ago, which I think is so much fun. What's, and honestly, so much of the information is very relevant for today and timeless wisdom that I think you'll just thoroughly enjoy. Okay. Speaking of vintage notions, the other uh, course is pearl buttons. And here is one, one thing I do share with you is when I have acquired new treasures. And this is one of my treasures that is all smoky pearl buttons. So in the pearl button course, the project is, um, I'm going to quick show you the project. Of course, I have a few. The neat thing is I have a few, like I mentioned, we, here's the main project in the pearl button course. It's a pieced and pat patchwork and quilted little zipper case with a wonderful tassel on it. And with that course, I'm just going to show you some of the other projects that we've made using that course. So gingham we've upcycled. We created a quilt block, used a quilt block, an orphan quilt block to make the, the um, sewing project from the pearl button course. We upcycled a dresser scarf if or a pillowcase. If you got many of you, I know, have those beautifully embroidered linens. And we have so many good projects for those in this these courses. And one more, a, a fun modern version. So don't think that this is all vintage. I love to share a modern design, a modern fabric all sorts of opportunities to create unique projects because you change the fabric and it can change the entire look of what you're doing. So when it comes to the pearl button course, you will receive the, the pouch that I shared there. And then as far as the graphics in the pearl button course, they were kind of fun to put together. I actually you found, um, I'm gonna pull it out here. From my collection, you will have button cards, um, graphics that are part of that content. And I think, so those are the button card graphics. And these are perfect for your buttons. You can print them and you could create tags, you could create cards. Um, and I thought I had one here to show you, but I may have moved it before we got started. So. I'll show those next time. Um, you know, next time I'll do a full on pearl button um, review of the, the material that's in that course, because we're getting down to the wire here. Bandana, pearl button, right? And then we have one quick, I, I don't want to miss telling you the, the fourth, um, course that's available because it's Tommy the tomato, the pin cushion. And you know, it's national sewing month. If you didn't know that it, it's national sewing month, that's September and Tommy the tomato here. You can see him here. He is in an upcycled fabric. We created him in a uh, cashmere ribbed cashmere sweater and then got another sweater to make his stem and his leaf. And in this course, this is your printable. You have, she spends hours in the sewing room is your printable. And I have to share these because Robin did these. Robin McIntosh created these with the graphics that are part of the course. And these little needle cases have Tommy, Tommy tomato on them and um, scissor shears, the other character and the history on these is the Mary Frances and Thimble Friends book series that was a sewing book series 
for children to learn to sew. So another variation is here we have um, the shirting, upcycle men's shirts, shirts, sweaters, denim, aprons, gingham, um, and handkerchiefs. So here's another idea. This is a handkerchief um, created and upcycled into a beautiful pincushion with, of course, a pearl button uh, accent at the center. So that is your Tommy the Tomato course. And I'll quick take just a minute or two and show you some of the some of the up close pictures of the course. And please remember to keep on commenting over there because we want we're going to pick a winner here pretty soon. I'm going to switch over to my pictures. So this was the book I mentioned that's the Mary Frances book that Tommy and here's Tommy one more time thanks to Donna who created Tommy our character here's the printables in the the tomato pincushion course you can print these cute little graphics and then use your zigzag machine and stitch them onto note cards and again one more hello from Tommy so i just want to um tell you oh and one more one more picture i put in i don't want to miss showing you is this mother of pearl graphic isn't that wonderful that that's one of my new treasures so again please encourage any friends you have to consider tuning into the live events um as far as the live events you need to follow me on my newsletter to know when i'm going live usually i'm on fridays at 1 central not necessarily every week, but I try to be here regularly. So the best way to um, keep up to date with me is my newsletter, amybarrickman.com. Head over there, sign up, visit the Vintage Modern Makers website, and look around on every page of the course page. At the top is a video that I call the welcome video. And it goes through all of the details of what you receive in the course. Um, I shouldn't say all of the details. It goes through most of the details. And then lower, as you go down the page, you'll see the listing of all the course details. You'll see the frequently asked questions and um, some pictures of the projects, some pictures of the printables, it should give you enough information that you can make a decision about joining me for one of the courses. And you'll also, once you register on that website, you'll also be part of our community over there. So as you make things, you can share them. Uh, I also encourage everyone to share at the Amy Berkman Vintage Made Modern Facebook group. If you find a treasure out there, share it with the group. If you make something related to the vintage textile we're talking about, share it with the group. Um, we really love to see those special treasures in your collection. And I'm going to try to share with a theme each month um, starting in October. So stay tuned for that theme and look forward to, we'll be talking a lot about um, gift giving, gift making, um, more about vintage notions and treasures, and I'll continue to share more about the DIY courses. Michelle, um, we're, we decided, Michelle and I decided we were going to pick the winner after the live so we can go through again to enter to win. If you're on the Facebook page, please click the share and share it with your friends. Um, that'll just put this uh, video in your friend's feed and um, hopefully they'll they'll get a chance to maybe join next time. I also, if you want to comment on the um, Facebook group, that's how you can enter to win. And if you're over on YouTube, please comment. And again, I'd love to hear which of these courses looks most inviting to you. Which one would you like to win if you're the winner? And again, the courses are Pearl Button, Bandana, 
tomato pin cushion, and feed sack. Anything else you can think of, Michelle, that I need to mention while I'm here? All right, I'm gonna, I see something behind me I meant to share. So I just have one more thing to share. Um, one more time, you can print, this is the Tommy the Tomato printable. Um, and I just want you to see, see the little, see Tommy up there? There he is. So that's where we found the inspiration for that pattern. And I just love this. You can see the sewing bird and the darling little doll. So this is, again, the Mary Frances art that's in the tomato pincushion. I want everyone to have a wonderful weekend. I'm going to be heading down to the Plaza Art Fair over the weekend. It's a wonderful event on Country Club Plaza in Kansas City, if any of you have been here and know about that. And I hope you'll get some creative inspiration in your weekend, too. Thanks so much for being here, and I appreciate everyone watching and jumping on board and commenting. And I hope to see you in the Vintage Modern Makers platform. And I would love it if you would consider a course and joining me to learn more about the wonderful history of handmade. Have a great weekend.